I'm going to start this week's Jeep chat with a simple question. What are we doing? We've got the presidential election in a few months. DNC primary came and went. They had their convention. Republican <laughs> called it primary. But it came and went, and we just had their convention. <sighs> Did either of those spectacles sway anyone? Absolutely not. So I'm going to give it to the Democrats for at least trying to speak to where the people are at with their slogan, a return to normalcy, but better. The first part I'm with you on, the second part, I don't see how it's going to happen. There's so much that has to be done to repair the damage of the past three years. How are we going to get to the, but better? I get back to that 16. Everybody was starry-eyed and optimistic about the future of our country. It was a time for a revolution because the, we're going to put someone new in the White House, no matter how you looked at it. Somebody new was going to come in there. The people spoke. It is what it is. Here we are. This time around, I got a feeling that nobody is really optimistic. I mean, you got the Republicans trying to hang on to another four years of what we've already had. And you've got the Democrats wanting to go back to the Obama era. Now, some of you are saying, what's wrong with that? <sighs> President Obama walked in with a recession was able to turn around in eight years and get the train going. Trump comes in, rides a wave, takes all the credit and all the glory, then COVID hit. All of these millions of people are unemployed, but not a single word about it from the Republicans during their convention. It's pretty much a let them eat cake strategy. We had the unemployment benefit extension opportunity which didn't happen. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm recording this on a Wednesday, and you're watching this probably on a Friday. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be shocked. <laughs> and I'll put a disclaimer up on Friday before I post if it does happen, but it's not going to happen. I'm not going to say that Trump doesn't care. I'm just going to say that our government doesn't care. I mean, you got the Democrats moving hell in high water to pass this bill. But uh, where is the urgency for everybody to sit down and work it out while well, all these people aren't getting these unemployment checks? It's not a matter of them wanting to get a, get, get a job or get their job back to and sit it out. So you guys did it. You didn't give the money. And those people are still unemployed. It didn't work to bring up the numbers. Where are we talking about the deficit in the Republican convention? I'm sure somebody's going to come up and talk about it, but it's more important. Actions are more important than words. The numbers are still piling up. It's piling up under a Republican president. Isn't that the platform? Oh, that's right. We didn't have a platform convention this year. It was pretty much just let's celebrate everything that's great about Trump. I mean, how can you walk in saying you want to be the continue being the most powerful man in the free world and not have a plan for the next four years? Where's the plan? Name calling? Power moves? Are we going to go out and find another rogue dictatorship and parade around and say that we create this peace plan while they run around doing whatever and then the plan dissolves? We're just not going to talk about it anymore? In case you forgot, that's North Korea. So I ask you again, what are we doing? What is your vote for? Is your vote simply a celebration of how much you love Trump? Or is your vote for issues? Are you voting to lower the deficit? If you're voting for that, it's not going to happen. So just take that off the plate. Are you voting for more conservative judges? I mean, the conservative judges I've seen have all ruled most of what Trump has done unconstitutional. 
So the judges aren't your puppets, and they're proving that that's how the law works. Are you simply voting against Trump? Or are we going to talk about the real issues? Are we going to talk about how another black man shot in the streets? <sighs> Thank the Lord this one isn't dead, but he's going to be paralyzed for life. And nothing is going to come of it. This is what the problem is. It's not the fact that he was simply an unarmed black man that was shot in the streets like many others and Breonna Taylor. The problem is there is no system of justice for them. This is why we went to Congress for reform. But that went nowhere. The urgency wasn't there. Therefore, it went nowhere. Now it's flipping around. We're just running around and killing protesters. Before it was cars that we could say, like, simply get out of the road. Now someone is walking around assassinating protesters. This is where we're at, America. This is what happens when the government doesn't do anything. This is what happens when we have thousands of people on the streets, angry, protesting, peaceful protesting, saying, hey, we got to fix this, and the government doesn't do anything. We just get this clash. This is a nation without leadership. We did this to ourselves, folks. All of your hero worshiper politicians, this is where we're at. The huge conundrum where no one is really running on issues. It's simply running to get Trump out or to keep doing the same stuff. We're in a hole. How do we get out? I know one way to get out, being more informed. Yes, being more informed. Not simply regurgitating everything you hear on the news, but doing your own research and finding out, ha that isn't true. This is true. I never thought about it this way. Let me talk to someone who thinks differently than me and see what their views are, see if they match up with mine, and maybe I can learn something. I'm not talking about you bending over and exposing your belly and letting them rub it. I'm talking about having a serious issue like two adults and talking about the issues. Can we do that? Are you capable of doing that? Can you leave your tribe for five seconds to see how messed up things are? Then appointment number is going to grow. Because right now we're like on a sugar high. And real estate's doing great. The stock market's doing great. People on Main Street aren't doing great. And that's going to catch up to everybody else. So are we going to keep doing the song and dance and talk about how much you love our favorite politician? Or are we ready to get our hands dirty? I know the choices aren't that great for some of you. I'm not hooting and hollering. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I'm just telling you, these are your choices. This is what's going to happen if we keep doing this. It's that simple. <sighs> you ready for a change, America? I'm ready for a change. I mean, I would love to have someone I'm excited about, but... That's not going to happen. It hasn't happened in my lifetime. I haven't had a president that I've been excited about. Welcome to my world. It's called growing up. It's called being an adult. We can fight out 2024, but you got to decide what you're going to do now. Take everything into consideration. Drop your tribalism. Drop your, your posturing to try to own somebody else. We're in it. We're not getting out anytime soon. This is the new normal. My name is Cal Finney King, and thank you for attending my Jeep Chat.